More than 23,000 vaccinations have now been administered right here in Utah. That's out of the 125,000 doses that have been shipped to our state. Health officials say they're beginning to close the gap with, uh, with folks as they start to expand to other groups. And there's been quite a gap, as reported this week. New specialist Matt Rascone's live in Davis County at a clinic. This massive effort continues tonight, Matt. Yeah, it's clinics like this one that are helping to pick up the pace. It took the state two weeks to administer 17,000 doses of the vaccine. This clinic is doing more than 1,000 in one day. It's not the sort of event you'd expect here. We have a great place here. But in 2020... Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? The Davis County Legacy Center is just the right place. I'm going to move you to the right over here. For a new kind of drive through Good. Jennifer Parkinson is a registered nurse. The most common side effect is just going to be a sore arm. One of hundreds of non-hospital health care workers. Glad to be on this side of it. <laughs> lining up for this. I've been very excited to get this vaccine and ready for all of this to just go away. Today, the Utah Department of Health acknowledged the state got a slow start administering the vaccine. We really just want to ensure that we get the vaccine out as quickly as possible and ensure that everybody that would like to receive it can receive it. And it's clinics like the one Davis County Health is hosting. We've been in the vaccination game for a long time. That they say will help drive up the number of administered doses. We just scan them as they come through. And help the state turn a corner at the end of a hectic year. What you're seeing is that bright light at the end of the tunnel. People are happy. In and out in less than half an hour. Pretty amazing. For Parkinson, the first dose of the vaccine. So yeah, much better much better is reassurance it's like a layer of protection just that calming effect and a sign thank you so much of more relief in the days ahead i feel better about it so each local health department across the state is now holding these clinics here and the state is urging those non-hospital health care workers those who don't work in a hospital but do work with patients to make an appointment and come in and get that vaccine